What's up guys, it's Jake from Kentucky Fried Fitness. Getting ready to go hit some legs. Um, filling up a shaker bottle full of some uh, BCAAs. Just got some Amino X by BSN. This is the grape flavor. Uh, I've tried the uh, fruit punch and watermelon, but grape is definitely the best flavor. Uh, just sitting in here, sitting in my car, just uh, trying to get listen to some music, empty my mind, get my mind ready. Um, I think this is uh, something that a lot of people don't really do. They just go in there, don't get a warm up in, don't get their mind right, and just try to attack the weights. And really, um, you know, your mind is pretty much half the battle in the gym. You know, that you got you got to have good nutrition and train hard to reach your goals. But really, you just have to have that mentality of going in there, putting in the work, knowing what you're going to do that day. Um, and really, it's just to kind of empty your mind, just get your worries out of your mind, just sit here, listen to some kind of music that you like to listen to. Um, and so, yeah, so enjoy this leg footage. Boom! What's up, guys? It's Jake from Kentucky Fried Fitness, and uh, today going to be talking about, as you can tell from the title, the difference between um, being a bodybuilder and a weightlifter. So first off in this workout, it's just some leg footage. Um, we did some squats, leg extensions, um, a lot of leg extensions, um, and some stiff leg deadlifts and some hamstring curls. Um, just did a lot of high volume, not that many different exercises, but um, just a lot more sets than um, we typically do. But to start off, we're going to talk about the difference between a bodybuilder and a weightlifter. Now, a bodybuilder is primarily concerned with contracting and stretching the muscle, the stretch and the squeeze against greater amounts of resistance. Um, and this is pretty much called progressive overload. Now, a weightlifter, they're pretty much concerned with, you know, hey, I'm a weightlifter. How much do you curl? How much do you bench, deadlift, squat? Um, you know, pretty much, they're not even really power lifters either. A weightlifter is just pretty much concerned with how much they can actually do. Now, there's a couple of reasons that people think that they're bodybuilders but really are weightlifters. Now, one is going to be obvious, and that's just the need to show off. People just, um, and I mean, let's be honest, it, it's fun to lift heavy and, um, you know, to be able to hit PRs and stuff like that, but when it comes to bodybuilding and trying to produce physique oriented goals um, you know weightlifting isn't really going to be the best bet for you now the other reason people become weightlifters instead of bodybuilders is because they think that um, you know it'll help reach their goals now you do need to push yourself sometimes but if every set you're just focused on how much you can do and not getting those good quality reps, not getting good quality movements, not squeezing and contracting the muscle and letting it stretch. I mean, you're just not going to progress as far as you would if you're just trying to do bench every single day, just trying to lift more on the bench press, just trying to curl more, trying to do more on the tricep pushdowns. That's not what it's about, guys. It's about doing the correct weight that's good enough for you to get good 10 to you know, 10 to 15 quality reps on every set, every exercise, and that's what's going to get you further along in the long run. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much it about this video, guys. I mean, it's real simple. Just know what kind of goals you have. You know, if you're a power lifter and strength is your goal, then fine, you know, do that. But if you want to be a bodybuilder, if you want to get a physique of you know your dreams then it's going to be better if you lower the weight and really focus on that contraction that mind and muscle connection the squeeze and the stretch um, that's all I've got for you guys today um, if you like this video if it helped you out make sure to just hit that thumbs up um, hit the subscribe button if you're a new subscriber um, leave a comment and tell me what you think guys I'm just trying to bring out good content for everyone and some stuff that really helps people, give some people some advice, help motivate, and just keep it positive, keep encouraging, 
and um, you can check the links to social.